Remember these? Remember these crazy, ridiculous problems where you had to simplify this stuff and there were a few things you had to remember and you're probably like, I don't even remember what that stuff was I was supposed to remember. Well, let me write it down for you very quickly. And uh, you, you should know this. Sine is sine, cosine is cosine. No big deal there. But tangent of theta is the same thing as sine of theta over cosine. And then we have some reciprocal things where uh, cotan is that flipped over, just in case that comes in handy. You may want to keep this stuff in mind. Um, let's come over here and write one more or two more. Uh, cosecant, CSC, is the reciprocal of sine, and secant is the reciprocal of cosine, and that ought to do it for these. Now, let's, let's glance through the problem. Which expression, blah, 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 blah. Whoa! These are squared and they involve two terms, so more than likely, not only will we need those, we will probably need to know this stuff. Mr. Reader, I don't remember those. Yeah, don't panic. You got this. You're good. You know the first one, right? Boy, I hope you know the first one. If you know the first one, you got the rest of them. I'm going to do this in my head. I hope you're not offended. If we divided everybody by sine squared, sine squared divided by sine squared is 1. Cosine divided by sine is cotan. However, everybody we're dealing with now is squared. We're, we're dividing everybody by sine. Why? So we can get another one. That's why. 1 divided by sine is cosecant. There we go. So there's your second one. There's one more. That third one comes from dividing everything by cosine, just so we can generate a third one. Sine divided by cosine is tangent. Cosine divided by cosine is 1. 1 divided by cosine is secant. And like I said, everybody we were just talking about is squared. So these are the things that are important to remember. Okay? All right, before we even touch this, I'll go ahead and tell you that there is no amount of manipulation that we have the ability to do at this point that will bring us to one of these answers. So why are we even trying? Well, actually, let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to change the answers, and then we're going to change this and see how they match. Okay? Cosine squared minus sine squared. We're going to come over here and see what we can do. Oh, cosine squared minus sine squared. Well, we'd have to subtract the... Wait, no. And then we would move the... Wait, no. There is no amount of manipulation of this equation that will give us this. Because these two are already on the same side. And so we can't change the sign of one of them and not the other. Right? Okay. So... A can't be changed. A is stuck the way it is. Let's go to B. Sine squared minus cosine squared. Same idea here. We already have them on the same side, and they're both positive. So if we're going to manipulate this to look like this, then we're probably going to have to do something illegal because that cosine is negative, and, and here it's positive, and they're on the same side. So we're not going to mess with that. This one, however, looks like that. How can we do this? Hmm. Let's see, if we're going to manipulate this equation to look like that on one side, then I'm going to do it in my head, then we would take the cosecant and move it over. Now it's going to say 1 plus cotan squared minus cosecant squared equals 0. And then we'd move the 1 over. And that would make it negative 1. So this is equivalent to negative 1. I should have just put equals instead of that ridiculous arrow, but oh well. Okay, last one. Cosecant squared minus cotangent squared. Cosecant squared, if we move this cotangent squared over, it would be cosecant squared minus cotan squared. It's going to be equal to 1, so this one, sure enough, is equal to 1. So here's the deal. We're going to manipulate this and hopefully get one of these two because these two are ridiculous. If we get, a, get one of those, then we'll cross that bridge later. All right, let's change this sucker a little bit. Let's start manipulating this. All right, left a little room. Secant is 1 over cosine. People would get in the habit of leaving their thetas out. That's a bad idea. All right, sine is, well, it's sine. And tangent is sine over cosine. And now we're left with this hideous fraction here that sine over sine over cosine and da 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 is a mess and we don't know what to do. So if you're stuck, 
Don't panic. Now, you're tempted to cross those signs out. Let's not go there yet. Let's, let's not go there. What I recommend we do instead is this. He's still sitting there, right? He's not moved. However, this sign is going to sit right there too, but he's really getting divided by sine over cosine. Okay? Oh, let's put him over one. He's lonely. Make them all fractions. Okay, well, dividing by a fraction means we turn it over. We take the reciprocal, basically, and we multiply. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal of this, so cosine over sine. Okay, well, what do you notice? At this point, everybody's multiplied, and so we can cancel the signs. When anything goes into itself, it goes in one time, with the exception of zero. Cosine goes into itself one time. One times one times one. Well, that's just, well, one. And that gives one times one. Oh, the answer is one. Well, that's not A. That's not B. That's not C. Must be D. There it is. Okay, if you're stuck on this one, and if you're really concerned that you couldn't have gotten that far by yourself, because a lot of y'all did struggle with this, I ain't going to lie, I, make, I want you to make sure that you know this stuff. I have a feeling that y'all remember this pretty well. I doubt they're going to give you this on the exam. This right here, you need to know it. You need to know where it comes from, even if they do give it to you, and I can't guarantee they will. But I'm sure you know the first one, but let's revisit this for just a second. To get from the first one to the second one, divide everything by sine and simplify, sine squared. To get to this one, go back here, divide everybody by cosine squared and simplify, and it'll give you that. And then use these things and do anything you know is algebraically legal to manipulate it. I recommend, and these were always my two recommendations, is turn anything that's not sine or cosine into sine or cosine. Turn him into 1 over cosine. Turn him into sine over cosine. And if you see stuff that's squared like we did over here, manipulate these. Swap it out. There we go.